are you? Are you doing well? Or are you as horrible here as you are at David's soon to fall bakery? Oh, I don't know. I was late because Chris still wasn't paying any attention at the time. Missed the font bus. Oh, shut that mouth, you. Do you know this is bigger with fixed hours? Clearly, you don't understand my policy. Be here early and you're on time. This is your last warning, Macy Tree Hudson. Next time I meet you like this, you're fired. No doubt about it. Fine, I'll be going for your sight. <sighs> What's got him in such a snappy mood? I try not to serve anyone while in this town, and he's always got something mean to say to me. Maybe it's because he's a monster and they're all just evil. Oh, but a lot of monsters in Cursed Town have negative opinions of humans. Rolando isn't even that trustworthy of a guy. He did steal his dad's money as a prize to Lord David into a bakery I show that he ended up losing back in July. His dad coming to my house, wanting the money back, just as David was counting it, and having it hide it before the visitors saw it was not something I was expecting. Kind of makes me weary of his future actions. Yeah. I got my eyes on him. Next time Ronald does something questionable, I'm out of here. I already gave him a year with plenty of chances. My patience with his attitude is running thin, but I only see him for a few hours a day, so I better put on a happy front. This is my time away from David and the kids, so I'm going to enjoy it best I can. Good pep talk, Macy. Now on with the day. I'm here, David. Totally not late or anything. Girls, go see that table by the wall where you always see it. Why do we have to be at that silly bakery? It's boring. I want to be at home watching cartoon, not doing spelling homework. You know why I can't leave you at home. We've been doing this since you've been in preschool. It's only an error in a bit until Ocean and Chris talk it in. But, Mommy! Shut up, people. We can't have you arguing here. Oh, I need the money, you know. Can't live without it. Got it! But, David, you always think you can't leave without your many stacks of money. You can't even live with the money you have. Shh. I hear someone entering. Where'd that person come Where'd from? Where'd that person come from? Floating in the air! How is she flying? <gasps> is that a wizard? <gasps> huh? Listen all, something important is happening. Ooh. Ooh! I am not here to order food. I am here on behalf of Celeste Leaner Funderhoof. She has warned me of a dire omen of the A Brothers <gasps> kind, one which includes Alcash Justin. He is, as of the sending of this seeming, roaming cursed on his oh, to Rolando. For power, plunder, and praise. Another thing, Celeste spotted Alcash Justin an hour before his transmission scheduled time as was added to this message by Hazel, who is confronting Chelsea the Dominate in Curstown, who has heard of some disturbing things. Says to me Tyus Lacus is planning an uprising for this Halloween, with his monsters of light assembled two days ago. But aren't you supposed to be in school? Why are you here now? I was sent last night and scuttled to appear here now. Here I am. I have more news if you don't mind. Oh, shut, shut up so I can think about what Eduardo is saying. I can barely hear him over your jabbering because he's lost his voice. Hey, why don't you just go outside and continue your jabbering? No, David, you go outside if you want to be in the dark on this. But let me make this clear. The monsters of light are coming. But Ocean, seamen of her or whatever you are, we can't prepare for the coming of the Abelers and Tayu Lacus. It is Tayus Lacus, Macy. And if you get it wrong, you might not get famous. You think I'm not going to get myself famous? Huh? Thank you. Anyway, if people aren't going to interrupt me, I can continue, right? Uh-huh. Carry yeah. on, carry yeah. on. Good. Elshina has volunteered to guard this bakery with her professional beneficent companions, a syndicate of assorted monsters who are to do stuff I don't know about. Truth is, media cannot spread the truth around, and these people are not doing it fast enough. We need more people. They were like Ramona, but she's unreachable. They were like Terrence, but he's bled. Celeste left just now, Hazel is relaying. She is going far and wide into the unknown and unreachable realms. We're friends, of course, but friends I know not of and wish not to converse with, if truth be told. That is all for me for now. I'm confused. Hold you to leave, god damn it. Why don't people just listen to me? Ah! Because you are an annoying person who can't be trusted with anything but they're running away from you. I kind of want to hear what this semen of ocean's got to say, you know. Get out of here, David, so I can listen. Ah, my money is all this world needs. Money from Greenland to Antarctica. Mmm, <clears throat> money, money, money. Uh -huh. I want more money, oh, I want more money.
Eduardo will speak tomorrow. Hey, you two over there. Get yourselves working so I can get more money. We want somebody to tell you that. <laughs> oh, she left. David, you made her leave. I don't even know what that was about. It must have been important if Ocean sent a fake version of herself to messages. Did you understand any of that, David? No, because it's stupid nonsense. Who wants that stuff, anyway? Well, if you think it's unimportant, then I guess it is. I'll just wait to see if Ocean brings it up again. Now get to work. All right, starting my shift now. Good. All this time apart, and he still doesn't talk to me. Ugh, I should just forget about it. I still have Celeste as a friend. Wait, where is she? She seems to keep missing class. Is she still fighting that battle somewhere? I barely see her, and we have three classes together. The bell's gonna ring, and Brother Orgen doesn't like targets. Looks like Thunderhood was absent again. Not going to bother waiting for her to that off. Okay, I only have two minutes before announcements to tell you what we are learning today. We are still going over the in-depth uses of seemings, and I hope you all apply this knowledge to your homework where you sent out a seeming. Today, you, you will fill out a report over your findings and share with the class what illusory skills you used. Get to work! Morning, students. You better all be in your classes. I have important news to impart. We're three Thursdays away from Frederick's annual Halloween party. Letters will be sent to certain people with more details. <coughs> Those illusory students with Brother Orange Bottom must report to the cafeteria to aid with the spooky transformations. <laughs> more setup information will be sent in an email later today. Everyone's invited and we hope to have a large turnout. Bring your family to get spooked and enjoy one of Frederick's Biggest parties of the year. Okay, everyone, quiet down. The party is still going to happen. Hey, Thunderhoof, why are you late again? Do you know repeated tardiness could lead to detention as stated by the 40 rules? Honestly, if teleportation is your mode of transport, you really should be on time. I was training with a celestial guard in the morning. They told me I needed as much training as possible, so I do it twice a day now. This is a very important position I have. Did I not tell you before, Brother Whitespotten? No, you did not, Thunderhoof. You've been sneaking into class through the door, pretending you weren't late. I noticed. I'm an orange bottom. We are keen on these things. Explain that, <laughs> if you can. I'm trying not to interrupt class so I can get straight to work, but you're making a scene over training I can't control. Well, if you can't have the decency to teleport before class starts, then I don't know what to do with you. It's not my fault, they all say. Just sit down, Thunderhoof, and do the assignment. I want no nonsense from you children. Way to make a grand entrance, Celeste. Could you have been more subtle? Oh, Brother Horny's body's just been too uptight. I teleport the way my guide instructed and misinterpret the coordinates of it. I meant to appear at my seat. That would have been seamless. Anyway, did you see me send my message okay? Yeah, I did it perfectly. The family didn't know it was a school project. Dad was too money crazy to care about what you said, and Mom was just confused and bought an imminent threat to be near. Luckily, she naturally asked questions about it, so I got my report ready, or the notes for it. Just copy that and we'll be good. So, did you hear about the Halloween party about teleporting? Oh, so you know that's not how it works, and no, I didn't. You mean the animal one we went to last year and scared Crystal? Yeah, knowing my brother, he'd probably want to come now that he goes here. He'll go parading around about how great he is to be here, caught in some horrendous costume. When he's just an equal here, this year will be great. All Lucy students get to set up scary decorations so it won't be lame. Sounds fun. I look forward to getting a break from all this Mr. Guard training. My horn is tired. There's still a lot to learn until I'm fully admitted to the guard. When will you be training next? Tomorrow at 9.30. I guess I have to do whatever work was assigned, right? Yeah. We have to do it before Brother Orzon gets more living. You know how angry he is. Uh, I guess. Oh, darn. I need sleep. And there's that long essay for Professor Orange Bottom on the effects of thallium mixed with black magic on my brain. What was the word count again? Oh, 1,500 words typed in 12 point times new Roman double space coherent English word many. As Professor Orange Bottom says. Okay, Macy, why are you still talking about that nonsensical leaving cashiering business? This I want to have a break from you business. Folly, I say to you, this is folly. 
Hey, so, David, I'm just thinking about it. Why quit in Rwanda? I haven't done anything yet. Just talked. I cross my arms in anger at this, but this will have to do. Keep quiet about the just think about quitting Rolando business. How about you quit being with me while you're at it? I wouldn't mind a divorce. Heck, I could just steal money from Rolando to see how he feels about it. We'd be even then, wouldn't we? Uh, David, uh, I never said anything about leaving you. Where'd you get that idea? I won't stop thinking about it. I have to deeply ponder my decisions. Maybe I'll just stop talking to you about them. Fine by me. We'll have to hear your nonsensical whines. Nonsensical? My opinions are not nonsense, David. They're important to the decisions we make for our family. The only decisions I'm going to be making are getting more money in my bank account. Like delivering this five pies. But we don't do deliveries. We do now. Well, where to then? Stacy. Stacy? But you know we just spies each other, David. Why, her? She lives in Kirstown, right? And I was just there a few hours ago. Why would I go back? Because she called my bakery to place the order and You know I don't turn down business. Now chop to it. She'll be expecting it at 340. Eduardo, get these three pies in the box. Wait, don't leave you yet, Mommy. We n -n never got to tell you about our day. Oh, sorry, Trace. David keeps me busy. How was your day? It was awful. Mr. Pussy wasn't there like the normal and the subway would be mean. She said she made a spell and it would be really hard. I bet it failed. Then she could call me to doing math and she, she, she couldn't understand me. I hate subs. I wish Mr. Pussy didn't tease me, Wes. The, the other kids laughed at me again and Mimi's team was saying, Stop them. Well, you can't expect a substitute to know all the students' problems, Trace. She's probably just doing what Mr. Princeton wrote her to do. But, but people can't understand us. Maybe talk slower so your words don't get jumbled up. We do that. It just doesn't work. I don't know what to tell you then. The speech therapy was supposed to fix her debris, but it only works on Grace. I still understand you too, kind of. But that 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 doesn't count. You are a mom. You're just supposed to understand us. Stacy, stop logging into one of these pies. You know Stacy right angry with you last somewhere if we give her bad business. Can't have Alana being better than me. Really, David? I was talking to our daughter about the bad day. I'm trying to be a good parent so we don't get another messed up kid. Oh, everyone has a bad day. Whatever. It's just over half an hour until Stacy's delivery, so you gotta go. Fine, I'm going, I'm going, but you don't gotta be so harsh. Oh, I wish I could vent all this anger I feel now. Oh, well, it's not like I can get myself famous. Oh, man, she didn't even tell what to do about the teasing. Yeah, it's like she didn't even hear that part. Hey, Dad, what do we do if kids will laugh at us at school? What? Are you saying something? All I hear is gibberish. The kids laugh at us at school. Of course they do. You can't talk. We're two and you all look dumb. But we still got to sit square without reading, so we don't have to touch our normal. Whatever, he's dumb and useless. Don't talk to me, I'm working. <sighs> Another sandwich and silence. Hmm? What? Who? It's Ocean. Duh. You know, the person you should be talking to instead of sleeping. I can't help it! The guard training drains my energy. Now let me nap so I can be awake for the next half of the day. You're no fun. Why can't you train less a day? Coach Scorpion is getting impatient with your degenerating effort in Dolagoo. He might kick you out if you're not careful. Not before I quit, he won't. You're not thinking of doing that, are you? Because then I'll have no one to talk to on my team. Fira, Olivia, and Benry keep to themselves, and I'm not even going to mention the Tanner's thing. I was only making a poor joke, but being too tired to think, because someone won't let me nap. What do they have you doing at the Celestial Guard, anyway? Oh, just energy integration towards my innate magical faculties and my celestial eye. But which butchers the one? I thought only potions could raise your magical levels, like the ones Dad used to make a year ago. Then I think Kristoff got into them and messed them up, and now brain potions are banned in our house. No, it's not a potion at all. It is all internal. The energy only raises in your magic, and no one else's. There's no adverse effects. It is the utilization of consciousness as a medium for which magic is channeled. It's assistant William really feast. That doesn't sound at all like what we learned in school. Oh, it's not. Human magic can only be properly utilized via wands. Otherwise, it's too raw and unpredictable. 
Unicorn magic, as well as some other magical creatures and aliens, works without a wand. Since we have our horns, we are able to channel our magic through that, and we're more connected to the purple soul consciousness magic than the other colors. Oh, that's fascinating. Sounds like something that's generations away from happening. They wouldn't dare teach the power of energies and celestial eyes to the young wizards. It's also new to the pity humans. This is why only a select few are chosen to be on the guard, as we are the ones emotionally ready and able to handle the energies. Most people would find this knowledge evil, when in fact it's the truth. Sounds like regular cosmic bounce to me. Exactly! Hopefully the study of magic within us and our spirits will be taught to the students at Frederick soon, as an elective at first, then possibly expanding to other curriculums and later to the general population. The goal is to raise the plane of consciousness, rid of all evil, and advance the human race. Oh wait, who's that? The brown haired boy in black? Is that Terrence? I... I don't know. They kind of look like him. But wait, why is he alone? Isn't he supposed to be with his beloved Georgia? It looks like he's not feeling well. Oh, hey, Terrence, over here! Oh, hi, people. Oh, hey, Terrence, how are things? Oh, you. Yeah, hi, Ocean. What you want invading my loneliness for? I was forced to say hi because of Georgia. She's becoming overly nice and clingy as of late. Wants me to move in. His mom's getting a new job that's busy and has a lot of hours. She's looking for a place for me and the bad bro of mine to live. But to no sign of luck. Now, bye. So why is her mom changing jobs? She feels working at a store is not her target job. Where are you and Jinx going? Where to go? I don't know. All I know is I got to go. Got to flow, bro. You know I can't be living if you keep on asking me, hey, where I am to go if all that we have is just today, eh? I know we aren't working, but soon as we do turn, yeah. I know we will be talking, knowing all of our concerns, yeah. Because I do not know if I am gonna go, or if I'm gonna stay, or where I'm gonna be tomorrow or today, eh? Just let me now here be if you can't let me be understood. So then if you say no, I can't be listened to you not want to strut. Terrence, this ain't like you. True, but I can tell you that I am through with all of this darkness that has come over me like a foaming wave stretching above the sea. If you're done with Justin's darkness, then why do you still look like you're digging an emo home? Bro, why are you being so rude? I only am myself. Can't just shut myself up and put who I am on top of a shelf. Now you're acting strange. Does someone put a rapping house on you to you rhyme all the time? Are you trying to be weird or are you setting up a scene? I know I am quite feared, but you can't make it really obscene. I'm not being rude. I'm trying to help you. This is a whole new level of broken for you, Terrence. What? You think this is rapping incoherence? Of course it is. You can't keep speaking in dark poems all the time. You gotta stop thinking about the revolt. My parents are still arguing about it at some point in most conversations, but it's not gonna change the past. We're all hurting for what Justin and the monsters did, but dwelling on what you should have done won't make you happy. At least you two are talking, so I you can let go of this. To this I must concur. Wait, are you rhyming every last word? Yes, and not just for today. He's under a hex. I call it. Call it what you will, but it is all I'm built to do. So if you now try to talk of it, nothing will come to you. I'm not here to talk things out, as you can clearly see. I'm here to express this emotional mess, no doubt, before I can thereafter be free. Free of what? Of all of you. So shoo, be gone. I shall be rid of ye, so I can be sooner bereft of lies. You see, I aim to recognize all who despise the wholesome demise of my fame and freedom. There ain't no person looking for a better disguise, because I'm the only one who will need em. To flourish with encouragement, I ought to find myself to possess such qualities within myself like intelligence, friends, and finesse. So, you're trying to sound like a Shakespeare tragedy, where you drive everyone away from your superfluous poems. How weird. Shakespeare, I am not. Just a rapping man, tired of the spot. Tired of this useless exchange. Filled with feelings and people I wish to estrange. I must now go be free, like swift currents at sea. Black water thrashes, cold and unassuming. Black water washes what is always there, looming. Am I the only one trying to move past the revolt? You really should just give up on our last cause of revolt. You're probably right. You always are. What are you all doing here? 
Kristoff goes here on a chaperone, and Christ refused to stay at the bike. The bakery is boring, and Matthew won't let us stay at his ice house. The ice house. Darn, I should have thought of that. I told you, but Kristoff was all in a hurry. We're here now, so why don't we leave Ocean alone? Have you seen Toronto? We are going to scare people, but I haven't seen this crazy here anywhere in this park. How am I supposed to know? I don't want to be here. Because you're Toronto's cousin? What's your problem anyway? It's Ocean you're mad at, not me. The world is a big dump of bad, and the guy who used to control me plans to divorce Sarah. We're all doomed. What? So you're mad at the world now? Teenagers make no sense. Okay, why don't you go find someone else to talk to, Kristoff? What's your problem, Terrence? Why must you constantly be negative? I can speak however and to whomever I want. Sucks to your Celeste friend because she's busy and perpetually so. Why bother being friends with her and me? We have our own lives, Ocean, if you can understand that. I know. And I used to think you were a good part of mine, but now I'm unsure. Everyone's more distant. Late. Rightfully so. Celeste is running away from you because she hates you like everyone else does secretly behind your back. Don't bring Celeste into this, Terrence. This is about you, and you know it. Celeste's insightful advice she's applied two weeks ago has been very helpful recently. Unlike you. What life do you have, Terrence? Pretending to have a girlfriend? Being depressed? Whatever this emo thing is? What looks like to me is you're blowing me off, and frankly, I don't like it. I need some explanation from you so I can stop wasting my time waiting for you to change in vain. Oh, tis not but lies. The world is one big problem with people like him and animals like him and plants weirder than his obsessions and beat up car. Despise them all, I do. I have them all incinerated if I knew the incineration spell. How come whenever someone talks to you, you always direct it to hating Justin? Could you stop talking about the revolt for one moment? Being this way is all there is. Why ask me to be someone I am not? I just want you to be like you were, Terrence. That's all. I am who I am. I do the best that I can. I am not to be a liar, a faker, a pawn of your pseudo-happy life. Get real, Ocean. Emos will soon dominate, and Emoween will replace Halloween. However, unhallowed Emoween might seem to its contemporaries, celebrating more ancient holidays. What's Emoween? Kristoff, back off. Get out of here and find your little Toronto friend. I'm trying to talk to Terrence. Talk to Tony all you want, then, my god. But I can't find Toronto anywhere. Oh, hey, there he is. Hey, Kristoff, you like my new crazy hair? Stay like a vampire squid. Sure, but you look more like a viking than a squid. I'm a shadow crow, much scarier than you. Hey, but I can cast better spells than you. Let's go find something scary to do. Okay, this is going nowhere. How about we start with why you can't stop thinking about the role so negatively? So I'm supposed to be positive? As if that can exist anymore. Everything's Justin's fault. I wouldn't have come so close to being like Jinx if it weren't for him. It's good he's getting divorced so his children can't get even closer to being like him. But he has Jinx as his apprentice and I can't get him back. Nearly becoming Jinx? I can't get forget that. I've done terrible things, Ocean. The memories haunt me. It's impossible to be happy when you've an evil brother who treats your home like a hotel on constant leave doing who knows what terrible things with your former tormentor. I live in constant reminder of my past. So no, Ocean, I cannot just forget about it. Why do you still hold feelings of care towards Jinx? He's done no good to you and so no interest in improving. He has no remorse for his actions, so you should not waste your kindness on him. It will only give you regret, which Jinx doesn't deserve the satisfaction of knowing. I know you've been through a lot, Terrence. I used to spend many nights worrying if you'd make it out, feeling helpless that the worst would happen. When you survived and I saw how damage Justin made you, I wish I could have saved you sooner. But the revolt wasn't something I control. I realized that I shouldn't wallow in regret for what I wished I'd done and keep reliving the past. Instead, I'm grateful you're alive and away from Justin, even if you're distant. It's better to make a positive present than dwell on the past. Easy for you to say. You didn't live the revolt the way I did. Oh, tis but true what I say. Though I may be moping to you today, you think me crazy when I am really sad. While you are worried for no reason, slowly going mad, thou hast sought my sooth 
but this I cannot conceal unto thee, because, though forsooth I have been distant, as you can see, I merely aim to be alone. Oh, perfectly alone, I atone, thou hast sought my former self, though I have put him on a shelf, so thou must seek another you, so I could seem either less a friend or a guy just meant to forever be filled with rue. Ah, uh, again with the poems? I can't take them anymore. I cannot express myself in any other way. You know what? I'm done. There's no getting through to you. You refuse to let go of the past and accept my advice. I'm trying to move on and you get in the way of your emotion ocean tsunami. I can't sympathize with you anymore, Terrence. Celeste is right about you being a lost cause. But you are wrong about her running away from me. It is actually you who is driving everyone away with your rhyming and shadow crows circling your head, waiting to suck away all of our happy energy. Have fun on your shelf. It'll get nice and dusty from how little people want to visit it. You can unfriend me after the party ends. What's that meant to mean? Should I or shouldn't I? Oh, she's over here! Where's that girlfriend you're always with? Georgia brought me here. I told her to go home after I entered. The parents are too busy debating things. What kind of things? Um, do you really want to know? You're the one who wanted to talk. You sure? It's kind of hard to talk about. Well, there ain't any tears. That's impossible in this world. You know that. You know what I mean. No, I don't. What else is wrong? I, my parents, I can't say it. Go on. You're talking about your parents, right? Mm-hmm. Dad's been, um, he's got a promotion. And? Dad's been promoted manager to the Magical Animal Safari Park. There, you have me That's now? great. He likes his job a lot, as we both know. It's horrible, okay? I'm not happy with his promotion. Why? Because I'm moving to be near the safari park. Got that? We're packing the bags tomorrow evening and hitting the skies in a flying car early Saturday morning. Jinx is gleeful because he thinks he can do whatever he wants in his new house of lavish mystery. However, I have to disagree. I'm going to the wizard school over there in Batty Haven, where most of the bat people are flying as of late. Thayus Nikus tells me all of them might leave Sam Hamtonio pretty soon. The Batsons included. It's for the same reason why monsters are leaving Curse Town to look for a better life in a place reputed for being great. That's why I'm moving, Ocean. Dad is also why, and he wants to be my last night with you. So that's what you meant by you can unfriend me after the party. I thought your only problem was you got PTSD from Justin. It is from more than just non-Uncle Justin of yours. It's from multiple layers of the cake of depression my life has been baked into. The dude is but a trifle to me now. A puny drunkard aiming to get his next cup and nothing useful to the world of us superior wizards. Soon his magic will be beyond him and he will be a slave to his alcohol like the rest of the malicious addicts. If you weren't afraid of Justin, then why have you been hating on him so much? It's like your only interest. He deserves it. I'm still getting this moving thing processed. How long have you been hiding this from me? Because it doesn't seem like you've got this sorted out in your head. You still seem confused. Confusion is but mere illusion. Its cousin doubts the encouragement for its delusion. And their illegitimate child despair, with her uncouth cunning there, beguiles and through trials, rids thee of thy smiles, and that family's spawned hatred turns you forever vile. Are you trying to hide the fact that you're despondent from me by saying emotions or illusions that don't bother you? I know that's untrue. I can sense your emotions and ocean tsunami from across the room. Emotions are too perplexing to process in 21 hours. You get that or not? You mean you just found out last night? Now I'm more confused. And mad at your parents. Yes, last night. Er, yeah. I think we've both been hit with a double tip wand. Yes, we have. Moving about three and a half hours southwest, that's where we will be living until Dad's boss begs him to move somewhere else. Does that answer your question succinctly? Not quite. Why go to a monster school where they could potentially teach black magic and be filled with drug addict kids and all their atrocious crimes? Is the safari park really that far away to be out of the Frederick zone? A three hour drive or 30 minute flight in a flying car is the limit for the zone if you have not read the website's recent updates to the admission policy. No, I have not, but I guess you have whilst in the denial stage of grief. 
the one I am in that brought us to this point. With respect to Celeste's deprivation of your humble society, no doubt. Hey, don't bring Celeste back into this. I must. It's the only fun I have right now. All other fun has been denied me. I can't believe you're moving. It kind of removes the power of me and friending you earlier. Now it's just what was going to happen anyway, even if I didn't tell you. The preparations begin tomorrow, my last day I go to school here. It's probably a good thing you're moving. It'll get you away from where the revolt and your trauma happened. You could finally let go of it if you were in a new environment. Sure. New friends, new place, no more revolt. I've been trying to improve for months, but Batty Haven won't have people begging me to be someone I'm not. Just benevolence and peace. Losing who we were is a small thing. Well, I can't get you out of this, so I guess all that's left is to have the best time we can tonight. Now let's go distract ourselves from our feelings of you moving. <laughs>